going? My name is Liz. Welcome to my channel. Anyways, today we have a really exciting video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for a holiday party or holiday look. And I, this is the look that I came up with. I think it looks really cool. If you want to see how I got this look and what products I use, then let's keep watching. <laughs> Ready, up, close, and personal. Let's get right into it. We're gonna do the cutest um, Christmas look, like a, a holiday Christmas look, whatever you're celebrating. I mean, if you're celebrating. <laughs> this year is kind of like, let's just be done with it already. But anyways, I'm gonna be using some jams. I'm gonna do a cut crease. I'm going to put some, I'm just gonna do some red and green. It's gonna look really cute. Let's get right into it. Okay, first off, I have all my items in here, tons of makeup. Um, I'm gonna start off by just priming my eyelids. I want that makeup to last a long time. Today I'm gonna be using the um, the Essentials by Vol uh, Violet Voss. Uh, we're gonna try using that, it's the Pro Series it's called. And we're gonna use a primer, which is right here. And I'm gonna use the Pretty Vulgar Primer. I've been using this like every day. I love it, it's really good. I feel like I have decent, like it's funny, I have extremely dry um, skin, but my eyelids can get a little oily. So let's just try making sure that all of our makeup lasts for the whole night. We're just having a tiny, tiny small gathering of cousins and friends. Uh, just like a few um we're just gonna have dinner and dress up for holiday and um like just a christmas kind of gathering we're gonna have a little secret uh gift kind of thing with like we do this yearly it's become a tradition and yeah it's really the only exciting things that's been happening Alrighty, now that i have my eyelids primed and ready so we have this guy right here which is gorgeous i'm not going to use a crazy amount for my cut crease because i'm going to plan on using this green right here to just kind of put on the lower line um lower lid so we're going to work with like these mauve and tones and um i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do we'll see but we'll use those two so first off i'm going to go into sand right here and we're just gonna dust this all over we're gonna cut the crease so it doesn't have to be like crazy perfect I just really want the the gems to kind of really pop out so I'm not gonna do a crazy like lid color because I am gonna cut the crease and have the jewels but I am gonna smoke at that uh, lower lash I mean, lower, whatever the freaking this thing is called, lower lid with green for Christmas. I love Christmas. This is my favorite time of the year. I love getting with seeing family and just being all cozy. I just love Christmas so much. It's my favorite time of the year. I mean, this year, I don't know. It's not going to be obviously big anymore. Um just you know what just getting with some really close people and that's all we can do this year unfortunately i'm gonna go in with a little tiny brush and just kind of go right into these guys right here i have like hooded eyes so it's really hard sometimes I'm going to go right into cinnamon just to darken it. It's a little bit of a darker color right here. And just lightly dab. Lightly dab in there. And just to add a little more definition around the crease area. Again, we are going to cut the crease soon. And I'm just going to add a little something. Just a little something. The trick is to go a little higher if you have a bit of a hooded eye, just a little bit higher. I would follow how your eyes are open and just kind of 
really dark in that area. See how that looks right there? Then we're going to go back into Dusty Rose and just lightly go around that to kind of blend it in again. I don't want it to be like too harsh. I'm going to do that on the other eye. You got to trust the process. You got to trust this process, right? It's going to look a little weird before it looks good. Okay, we're going to do that for now. Now we're going to cut the crease. And then we're going to go back into the eye shadow afterwards and just really bring it out. I'm going to put a little bit just on the brush, actually. So I am using medium and with tart. So I need to really focus on this. So I'm going to need to get really close. A little bit of a cut crease. Before, so we're going to set it real quickly. I'm going to be using my um, uh, Shade and Light from Kat Von D. It's loved, overly loved. <laughs> to set it real quickly before it gets messy. So we're just going to use a bit of the light and yellow shade in here. And I'm just going to go right in and just kind of set it. Set it and forget it, right? Actually, I'm going to use more of the whiter, the lighter tone in here instead of the yellow. Because I do want it to look more of a yellow. I mean, sorry, a white. I want it to be looking more like a white cut crease. So we're using the same brush, but on the other side. And go back into cinnamon. And just like go over... The outer areas. See how that looks? It's really nice. And there you go, guys. <clears throat> We're going to get right into putting the shimmers now. Uh, we're going to use some sparkles and put them on our eyelids. So we're going to dot it first with some uh, eyelash glue. And I'm just going to put one here. We're just going to do a few. We're going to do one here, maybe one there. And just one right at the end. There you go, guys. We're gonna put some eyeliner and mascara, and it'll just look really nice. So we're gonna do the other eye, and then we'll be back. That is the mas the eyeshadow and the sparkles. How cute is that? It looks so cute. So we're gonna do some mascara, and we're gonna do see. We're gonna try out some magnetic lashes that I got actually from Amazon. It's the magnetic eyelash uh, set and it's hilarious because it doesn't actually have the name of the brand on here. I don't know how sketchy that is. <laughs> Look how cute that is. So pretty. So we're gonna put the lashes on and we're gonna test these. I'm really nervous about this. I really hope it turns out good because um, I'd be really sad. <laughs> Gonna curl our eyelashes. Just really curl them up. Just so they can blend. I don't know if I want to do the green anymore. I feel like it doesn't it wouldn't complement the top. I'll see. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> we'll see. I was going to do like a green bottom, like a really smoky green with like a red lip. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of enough. We'll see. So 
these are the lashes. It comes with a little stick for it and it comes with three lashes. I think they're all supposed to be the same and the eyeliner, which has like the magnetic glue. It also looks like an eyeliner. So let's get started. I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to see the lashes and see which ones are for which eye. I'm hoping they work out because I have decently large eyes. So this is how they look like. They got the little magnets. I don't know if you see that little magnets on the inside of them. By the way, guys, you like my little holiday nails? I did them myself. So I think that's good. Let's just try it out. We're gonna put some eyeliner on and see if it works. The eyeliner is really thick. I don't know if it's because I haven't used it. I bought it a, maybe a few months ago and I just haven't worn lashes because there's nothing to do. That's probably the worst eyeliner I've ever tried in my life. I'm gonna get a new another eyeliner just to the outers because we're not gonna put the lashes on there. So. See that? So much better. Are they the best lashes in the world? No. Alrighty. So I put a bit of mascara and some eyeliner. Look at that, it looks so much better. I was so disappointed. I felt like that was just definitely gonna ruin the look because the glue was so dry. Even the ones that I had before, they started to peel off the magnetics. I've used them before. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how they look like and I was really disappointed. So we're gonna get right into concealer. We're gonna put prime our face first and do all the powder and stuff because I can't look at these under eye circles anymore. They're just horrible. So let's get right into it. And then after that, we're gonna do one more coat of mascara because I need it. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to be using my little tiny sample of the uh, uh, Coconut Skin uh, by First Aid Beauty. It's a smooth priming moisturizer uh, and it's for sensitive skin, but it has this literally gorgeous glow. I haven't got the full one yet because I don't use it all the time. I think it's too glowy. I know. What, Liz? You love that glowy skin, but I'm just going to use it now because I really want to look extra glowy because the holidays. I mean, not really holidays, but it's like the Christmas time season. I'm doing a holiday look, a Christmas look. So I really just want to look really glowy. Look at my skin, like how glowy that is. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do our brows. My least favorite part. <laughs> Alrighty. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And then we're going to use my, by the way, my mascara that I use, I use the ba Bad Girl uh mascara it's the one that i got in the video you'll see the video over here check that out it's for my sephora haul um and then i'm gonna use the two laura mercier powders i'm gonna use uh the laura mercier just the setting powder and then the secret brightening which is my favorite um let me just check to see if i did the primer good because i don't know yeah it looks really good really liking the look of my eyes I'm also going to use my shape tape because it's my number one in the, the shade medium from Tarte. Then I'm going to go right in here, get that area. Oh my goodness, just cover that. You want to look nice and bright. Kind of go like a little bit of a triangle. I don't usually go this heavy all the time, but we're going heavy today because I want to look flawless. And then we're going to use my Makeup Forever, uh, sorry, Makeup Forever Ultra HD 
just for the surrounding face. I don't like to use it. I don't like to use my shape tape everywhere. I just, I like to use something a little, it's still heavy. This one's like full coverage, but I'm just gonna do a little like right there just to kind of even it out and where it don't look like we just have one just light skin tone everywhere. I mean, just under the eyes, can I speak English? And then we're gonna go right in, we're gonna bounce this out. And just really, look at that. Oh, it's like you can breathe, finally. <laughs> I'm kidding, wow. But I feel like concealer is just life. It makes the biggest difference, mostly on my skin. And I just like to spot conceal because I love to see like skin still. Like I like to see my skin still. I don't like it to look too heavy. So that's why I only do concealer and I don't do foundation. And I just really, let's get right into that line right here. Make sure that we're cutting it. Look at that, makes the biggest difference. I don't know guys, I don't know if I wanna do the green underneath my eyes anymore. We'll see. I feel like it doesn't really match this look anymore. I think I went a little too heavy with the cut crease. So I feel like with the green, it'll just look too much, so. I don't know. I might not do it. I might just keep it with the tones that I have. It still looks really nice. Just really blending it out. I don't want to look cakey. Just really get it right in there. You can still see that shine. So I'm gonna do all the powder and stuff and then I'm gonna be right back. Powdered up. <laughs> looks so much better. I'm gonna go back into my shade and light. I want to bronze up a bit because I feel like I look too one tone right now and I'm just trying to look uh just even it out a bit my skin tone. <laughs> I love bronzing up my skin. I'm gonna use my favorite Morphe brush. Um, it's worn out but it's like a little fluffy fan. I'm gonna go right into these two shades right here and we're just gonna bronze up really chisel this area. I'm actually using, um, I switch up. I have so many brow products that I just kind of go from. I'm using the Winky Lux Unibrow. It looks like this. I got this from a uh, FabFitFun. And um, I s originally said I hated it because I didn't like how it, it was so hard. But, there's like a fuzzy on my nose. What else is new when you have a kitty so i originally said i hated it because i don't usually like uh like these type of thick ones but i do like it it's just really easy it does it gets your brows done in like a sec and the shade is pretty good actually don't go crazy with my brows Look at that, really easy, two seconds. Just kind of fluff up this butt area. Really pretty. I'm just gonna use the end of that with the spoolie and kind of, I always brush up the front of it to kind of make it more soft looking. And that's all you need to do. The, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, setting um, what is this called? <laughs> the clear brow gel. We're just gonna go over those brows and set them up, make them look a little more natural. I like to kind of bring up, like pull them up a bit like this to kind of have like that fuzzy look, even though I barely have any brows, so it doesn't really make the biggest difference. But I still like to do it. And just kind of, again, push them up. And there you go. The Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH Glow Sugar Kit. It's called the Glow Sugar Kit. And I have these gorgeous shades. And then we're just gonna go right into a gumdrop and butterscotch and just do a little mixer. I always mix these up a bit. And we're gonna go right in here, kind of get that glow. That's so pretty. I like to do a little bit of a C kind of thing here. 
can do the other side. So I think I've decided I'm not going to do the green just because I feel like I really like the look and I don't want to do any more than that. So I'm going to take on a little fluffy brush, a little tiny one like this, another Morphe. They're all worn out. These are my favorite, so they will not be. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't tell you what they are because I don't know. I know they sell them still. I'm just going to do my little nosy. I do a little dot on the end. And then last, I get my little brush like this, again, Morphe, and it, it says actually E24, one of my favorite brushes. And for the inner corners, I go right in here, Cupid Swole. It looks so crazy. Then I just take my finger and go over them a bit. And there you go. That's the highlight for today. Look at that, it's so beautiful and glowy. So now we're going to get into some blush. I'm going to be using the Can Canea Antiveros uh, Beauty Blush and Shine. And it looks like this. I got this from a BoxyCharm. I just like their blushes. I don't really use the highlighters, but I use the blush. So I'm going to use this gorgeous like pink blush. I just feel like it will look with the, with the uh, XOXO in the middle because the, those two colors just match. I put first a little on my nose. And then just like right over here, I always put my highlighter before I put my blush just because I, I feel like it makes, it just makes it look more natural. Now we're going to do the under lid, whatever this is called. I can't think of it right now. I can never think of it when I'm filming. That is the problem. And we're going to go, we're just going to smoke it with the, uh, um, a little bit of dusty rose and then we'll see so we're just gonna do the under lid right here I'm just gonna go right under there I don't want it to be too heavy because that I just want this to be the center of the look I'm gonna actually spray my face set everything before putting that mascara on even though I put a little bit on already I just don't want it to get everywhere so I'm using the um because we want our makeup to last all night for this gathering I'm gonna use the all-nighter use my favorite uh like fan there's the mascara on the lower lashes and now last we're just gonna finish up and then we're gonna do a full reveal on how the look turned out so I'm gonna use the uh, gorgeous red um, YSL in the shade 11. So let's get right into it. I need a mirror. And there it is, guys, the full holiday look. I'm gonna put on, do finish my hair, put my jewelry on, and then we'll be right back to show you the reveal. I'm so excited, it looks so pretty. I'll be right back. <laughs> and there you go, guys, that is the final look. I have my um, hair that I left up in curls and I brushed out, and I got my little cute headband. What do you guys think? Comment below. What do you think of the look? Anyways, guys, that's all for today. I'm ready to go see some some gals and we're going to have some drinks and just going to have some good times. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more like this because I like to do fun things and I love Christmas and shopping and hauls and subscription boxes. So a lot of things coming on this channel. So please subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>